Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So last night when we were finishing up cleaning up brush, Dad Strength looked over at me and gave me, what motion was it? The broken motion. So I got out of the hoe and walked over to the loader and I found what had broke. The pin bosses had pulled out of the plates. Well, he's got them all cleaned up now. But they had pulled out of the plates on the back of the grapples. This is for the cylinder that curls the grapples back. The Z-bar pulls on those. And it curls the grapples and uncurls the grapples. So what we discovered was, as you can see, they had been broke for a while. It's all rusty in there. And the welds on the bushings themselves were not the greatest. So what we're going to do is uh, he's already got them bushings all cleaned up. He cut all the old welds off, ground them all smooth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean these all up and we're going to get them laid back in there. Get them welded back up and then we're going to have to redo the plate that's missing here. And then we'll probably put a plate over the whole thing somehow to give it some, yeah, give it some extra strength. So, it's rainy and windy today, so it's no better time than to work on this. Or no better time to work on this, is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to get started and get this fixed up, and then the loader will be ready to go again. We'll grease it real fast. And uh, this wasn't caused by pin wear or bushing wear or anything, because all the wear is down there in the end of that link this pin stays solid this pin does not turn you can see the hole that holds it so uh, we're gonna get started on this we'll get some video as we go and we'll get her fixed up okay so I kind of got a little behind in the video got sidetracked had to go do a few things and dad strength's been working on this so uh, so far what we've done here is he's got the bushings welded back in and you can see he's in the process of putting this side one back in so what he's actually done is he ground all this out really good, made a good gap in there, and got it full of weld, welded it all the way out, and uh, got some really good penetration on it. So now what we're going to do on this other side is we're going to lay a piece of bar stock like he did here to reform. Yeah, we got to put this bar stock in here and reform this back side that got all tore out because those were so thin to begin with that they by the time you welded on it there was nothing left to put back in by the time we cut it all off of the the bushing for the pin boss here so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reshape that around get that welded in and then we're going to take a piece of strap from up here one inch wide we're going to cover this all the way down <laughs> and come down around down to here. So that'll put another layer on that and hold this all together in tight, all welded up. So it'll definitely strengthen it way more than it was before. So he's got everything fitting real nice. Pin slides in and out easy. So uh, I'm gonna get the welder set up and I'm gonna weld the other side, give him a little bit of a break. So. Well, actually, we went to lunch and it's cooled off. I'm not going to lie. We went to uh, Taco Bell and got a case of Lupa. So we let this side cool off. So anyways, I'm going to get the welder, get my helmet, and I'll get that side welded up. Oh, it 
down towards the bushel. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I took the grinder and I cut it off straight on that side. Well, there's a big gap in this one. Down here in the bottom. Yeah. Well, it'll be a pretty still. Yeah, just get it tagged good, then I'll start printing it. <clears throat>
foot. I'm gonna have to go a little more right there so I can suck that right into there. Well, do you want to weld up to there? Yeah, I can. done, got her strips on, everything looks good. So now we're going to go ahead and put her pin in. Thank you for watching.